Michael Masterson and Jen Stevens once again. Thank you. Uh, before I give this very important award, I just want to uh, mention one other thing. You know, it, uh, I've spent a lot of time talking about the importance of learning techniques, but what's much more important is implementing them in practice. And our whole session this year on the mini review and the copy logic that we've taught you is about putting you into action. And uh, you also know that I love jujitsu. And I think many of you read that uh, I've written about this many times when people come up to me and they ask me about how do I do this in copywriting or how do I do that? What technique works better? Is it? Well, I used to ask those same questions about jujitsu. There are 500 techniques in jujitsu. And my teacher, when I started learning from him about five years ago, would be pestered every day by me. Well, what if I do this and what if I do that? And he was very gentle and kind with me and he would answer my questions and answer my questions. And then finally, after about a year of this, he turned to me and he said, you know, Michael, there are many, many questions about jujitsu, but there's only one answer. And the answer is practice. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like he, to, you to stand up and turn around and give a, a round of applause to somebody who's taught me a lot about winning in life. He's a three-time world champion, UFC champion, and my teacher, Marcus Aurelia. You right back there. Marcus, put your hand up. Please applaud Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. You don't know how much that's going to help me next time I have to train with him. He's not going to... No, we, I will not have a match with him in front of anybody. <laughs> okay. Our next award, and Jen and I are presenting this, but before we came up here, we realized, you know, we don't, we don't have like a, a back and forth. So, you know, is, is for the... Uh, well, Jennifer, you know, you can actually help. Why don't you announce what the actual title of this award is. The, the award would be for the Copywriter of the Year. There you go. And I didn't, I didn't do that just because I didn't know. I did it to try to involve you. Um, you can look pretty, and you do look pretty. Um, the, the person that we're giving this award to today is somebody that I've known for, uh, for almost 15 years. Uh, when I started working with him, he was a uh, very bright and promising young writer. Uh, he didn't know much about copywriting. He had uh, an education in classics. He studied philosophy and history and uh, literature and so on. And he came to Baltimore and started working in an office. He had a chair that was about uh, 10 feet away from Bill Bonner's chair. And uh, shortly thereafter, I came in, and he had the unfortunate experience of learning from two masters. Uh, Bill Bonner, who, uh, if you asked him a question of copy, he would say something like, well, you know, John, you know, you know the categorical imperative, don't you? And John would say, uh, I don't know what he would say, probably no, or maybe yes. And Bill would say, well, it's kind of like that. But imagine the categorical imperative if you were floating on air. And John would go, okay. And, he, and Bill would go, okay, go back to your writing. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was more like, John, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? I was more like the, uh, kind of like the Joe Pesci of copywriting cop. teaching. The bad cop. The bad cop. But uh, surprisingly, despite this, John was learned from both of us very beautifully. Some very important things he learned from Bill that I learned from him. The secret of indirection being the most important, I think. And then he learned some techniques from me. And he became, over the years, one of our most successful uh, writers at Agora. 
He's, uh, he continues to write great copy. Right now in the uh, division he works for, he's uh, brought in 26,000 new front-end subscribers this year, which is a tremendous accomplishment uh, given the economy uh, and the difficulty of mailing. Anybody that's been in our business will know that. He's produced uh, $4 million in back-end sales, uh, a total sales of more than $6 million this year in that division. He's uh, also on the AWAI board. He's uh, an editor. He is the editor of Hall of Fame. He's, uh, he writes his own service called Copywriters Roundtable, which I strongly recommend. It's one of those, uh, those few email letters that I have time, I always have time to read. There's always something valuable in there for me. Uh, he was the, uh, one of the um, presenters at the uh, Writer's Retreat, and he's going to be with me a co-author of a book that we're writing right now about this whole exciting uh, topic of, uh, of uh, leads, the you know differentiating and developing leads. So, would you please uh, stand up and give a round of applause for my friend and colleague and master copywriter John Ford. John, thank you. You're, you're, Jen is going to present you, and she's going to give you a little kiss, which I'm sure you'll appreciate much more than if I did that to you. Okay. All the okay. way from France. And, uh, and you got your beautiful plaque. That is a beautiful plaque right there. Is this a beautiful plaque? Look at that. Look at that beautiful plaque. And this, too, I, I, uh... I'm going to have to work out the security things about getting this on the plane. I think there are <laughs> rules against this one. Um, well, I'm, I'm, well why, don't, why don't you... Oh, no, take I am uh, encumbered, encumbered, flattered, very flattered. Uh, surprised and and uh, Pete, I'm not going to try and be funny up here. No. You've, you've got the chops. So I'm, uh, um, we had uh, there were a lot of things we didn't have in 2001. So you haven't even you haven't even scratched the surface. We yeah. could go on with that forever. I think I tell the story of uh, first meeting Michael and and uh, my experiences with Bill maybe as often or more than Michael does. And uh, it really was quite an experience for me. I I think of my uh, copywriting career. Somebody asked me today what I think of, of working with Agora, which has been predominantly my experience in copywriting. And um, I said I think it's fantastic. And, uh, and really for me, which I, I said to the, the gentleman who asked me, and I say to a lot of people, it was like a family for me. So Bill, and I, I, hope, I hate to be schmaltzy, especially in, in, in front of this many people. Well, who am I kidding? I like being schmaltzy, but not in front of a lot of people. Um, I am enormously indebted to Michael and Bill, and, and to me, those guys to me have been like brothers, fathers. So Bill can be the, the father, you can be the brother. Uh, and, and a lot of what I have done, you know, now when I write copy, I write it because I'm excited about how it works in the marketplace. I like to see the results, and I like to see, see the business grow. And, and I'm excited for the people that are working with the business and seeing it grow, and I'm excited for accomplishing that. But for many years, and at least just a little bit now, when I do those kinds of things, I think to myself, well, gee, I hope Bill and Michael are seeing this because I want to make them proud as much. So, so thank you very much. John Ford, ladies and gentlemen.